What's up, JRD Nation? Today, I'm gonna to tell you three things that I wish I knew before I started to jump rope. The first thing that I wish I would've known before I started jumping rope was that jump rope is a skill. You see, I thought I was pretty athletic, and so I thought I was like, oh, I'll figure that out really quick. And I had to learn very quickly that there was actually a skill that I had to learn and a proper jump rope form that I needed to be able to jump rope. Because everyone, no matter who you are, starts at zero when you begin jumping rope. And so if I would have known this, I would have put more intention into making sure my beginner fundamentals were on point from day one. Because if you do that, then you have the right foundation built. So you're going to reduce the risk of injury. You're going to improve the efficiency of your workouts and you're just gonna have overall a lot more fun and be able to learn tricks faster. So you can do a couple things to make sure that you don't fall into the same mistake that I did. Number one, make sure you go to our site, jumpropedudes.com, or it's linked below, and you take our free seven day beginner challenge. That's gonna teach you the fundamentals of jumping rope, and then you'll have something to work from. And then of course, nothing beats practice. The more you practice, the more workouts you do, the better you get. And a lot of people ask us, oh, how do I do X, Y, or Z trick? And we always say the same thing, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. And in the beginning, if you wanna learn proper jump rope form, we recommend using heavy ropes. So this is the cross rope here. This is a half pound rope. I recommend using a half pound or heavier when you're starting to jump rope. Because as you can see in this footage here, I can really feel the feedback of a rope coming around. And this leads to a decrease in trips over the jump rope and also helps you just get that rhythm of jumping rope down a lot faster and a lot easier. Now, the second thing I wish I would have known when I was first starting to jump rope is how important it is to start slow and build your way up. A lot of people do this with jump rope and all types of new sports or exercises is that they get excited about it and they want to go super hard every single day and never rest. Do not do this. I definitely did this and I paid the price for it. What I recommend and what I would have done if I was starting all over again, was I'd start with just jumping rope five minutes every other day. So maybe jump rope Monday for five minutes. Don't jump rope at all on Tuesday. Jump rope Wednesday for five minutes. Don't jump rope at all on Thursday. Jump rope Friday five minutes and slowly build your way up. And there's actually a cool video we made that talks about how to go from jumping 30 seconds straight to 30 minutes. I'll link that up in the corner of the screen right now because what it does is just shows you that if you slowly build your way up, you're gonna be much more consistent because you're not gonna be as sore and you're also not gonna be risking any injury. Now, the third thing that I wish to know before I started jumping rope was how important it is to have a proper recovery routine. Now, I'm gonna share a few things that go into the routine that I do now that if I did back then would have cost me a lot of pain and would have just made the process of jumping rope and learning to jump rope a lot more enjoyable. So the first thing is nutrition, eating nutrient dense, whole real foods is super important because you are what you eat. Number two is getting proper sleep, right? If you're working out super hard, you have to sleep. That's when you recover, that's when the body repairs itself. Number three, drinking lots of water. We like to also include electrolytes in that. So you're putting back into your body what you sweat out. We like Element, as we've talked about in other videos. Uh, in addition, a post-workout routine to help you uh, recover. Things like working on ankle mobility, foot mobility, foot strength, and also doing exercises like you see here to prevent shin splints. Now we have a whole video on preventing injury. I'll also link that up in the screen for you, but as you can see, it's really important either before your workout to make sure that you're warming up so you don't get injured, and then in addition, after your workout, doing some sort of cool down to make sure that you don't end up with very common jump rope exercise. I wouldn't call them injuries, but more soreness things like shin splints. So if you do these recovery routines, you're gonna avoid falling into the trap that many jump ropers do of just not recovering properly. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If it was helpful, please let us know. We'd love to hear which of these three things that you wish you knew before you started jumping rope, or maybe there's something else let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you wanna grab this awesome jump rope that I use throughout the video, you can get it, it's linked in the description. And if you are a beginner, beginner, make sure you start with our seven day beginner challenge at jumprobedues.com, also linked up in the description below. As always, do the thing.